CNN here is having a discussion with Biden, and I thought this was epic. Epic, indeed. So when you talk about the economy, of course, it is by far the most important issue for voters. It's also true right now, Mr. President, that voters by a wide margin trust Trump more on the economy. They say that in polls. And part of the reason for that may be the numbers. And, and, and you're aware of many of these, of course. Uh, the cost of buying a home in the United States is double uh, what it was when you look at your monthly costs from before the pandemic. Real income, when you account for inflation, is actually down since you took office. Economic growth last week, far short of expectations. Consumer Are you looking at Biden's face? He's like... He's oh. already zoned out. He doesn't know what's going on. He's like, I can't believe she just said that. <laughs> he, he, he's like, what are you talking about? What are these words coming out of your mouth? What is she even saying? She is staring him apart. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's rare. Yeah, that, yeah, there we go. She is staring him apart. That's rare coming from CNN. Aaron Burnett, the one that was courting um, President Valesky, <laughs> Zelensky. Anyway, um, are you serious? That is shocking. Yeah. Growth last week, far short of expectations, was when you look at your monthly costs from before the pandemic, real income when you account for inflation is actually down since you took office. Economic growth last week, far short of expectations. Consumer confidence, maybe no surprise, is near a two-year low. He's getting it's nervous. He can tell in his breathing. To, to election day. Are you worried that you're running out of time to turn that around? We've already turned it around. Look, you look at the, the Michigan survey. For 65% of the American people think they're in good shape economically. They think the nation's not in good shape, but they're personally in good shape. What? What, what is survey? he talking about? What survey? What survey is he reading from? Let me see. What? Let me hear again. The, the Michigan survey. For 60... Time to turn that around. We've already turned it around. Look, look at the, the Michigan survey. The, the Michigan survey? What is my Michigan. Survey? Michigan, Michigan survey. Michigan? That's what he says? Yeah. Help me, Lord. For 65% of the American people think they're in good shape economically. They think the nation's not in good shape, but they're personally in good shape. I don't think that way, though. I'm not part of the 65, so. I don't think anybody thinks they're in good shape right now. Well, remember, in a democracy, being part of the 40-something percent, what was it, what, 65, 30? We are, we are part of the 35%, so it doesn't matter what we think. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're part of that we're part of the 49 <laughs> percent. the the majority is is saying otherwise so who cares how you feel mm -hmm. the polling data has been wrong all along you know, how, how many you guys do a poll at cnn how many folks you have to call to get one response the idea that we're in a, a situation where things are so bad the folks that i mean We've created more jobs. We've made we're in a situation where people have. Is he attacking the polling data itself instead yeah. of the facts that were presented? Yeah. All right. Okay. The polling data is to blame. The folks that, I mean, we've created more jobs. We've made we're in a situation where people have access to good paying jobs. And the last I saw, the combination of the inflation. The, the cost of inflation and all those things, that's really worrisome to people with good reason. That's why I'm working very hard to bring the cost of rentals down, to increase the number of homes that are available. Well, but let me say it this way. When I started this administration, people were saying there's going to be a collapse in the economy. We have the strongest economy in the world. I'm a little bit shocked he hasn't blamed Donald Trump for it yet. I'm sure he might. But he hasn't blamed Trump yet. Let's see where this is going. Let me say it again. In the world. Although GDP last week was far short of expectations. Oh, it wasn't. Look, GDP is still growing. Look at the response of the markets. Overwhelmingly positive. Overwhelmingly positive. And one of the reasons why people feel good about it not being as strong as it was before is they believe that the Fed's going to respond. They hope they're going to get a rate cut. Yeah. Well, so, but I mean... No hope. The run we've had in terms of creating jobs and bringing down inflation it was nine percent when I came to office. Nine percent. But it, look, people have a right to be concerned. Uh, right, people, on, the right. idea that you. A wise man once told me, "Hope in one hand, crap in the other, and see which one fills up first. <laughs> 
Now, he, he was a little bit more vulgar about it, but you get my point. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's crazy. Man. Hope doesn't pay the bills. Nope. 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 Hope doesn't buy food. Nope. Put groceries nope. on the table. Nope. 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 Hope doesn't put gas in the car. Mm hmm. All these things have gone up since he's taken office. Mm hmm. And cost more and more and more almost on a daily basis. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, but we're in the worst economy we've seen in the last eight, almost eight years. Yeah. Hmm. That is crazy. The best economy we've had was when we were under Trump. That's a fact. We were the leading exporter of oil in the world. Drill, baby, drill. We That's were everything. completely self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. We it's had the lowest gas prices in over 70 years. We had no new wars, which saved us no a lot of money wars. in the military industrial complex. We pulled out of so many bad trade agreements. Absolutely. I mean... I, oh. And we had, we had nations like China paying their their taxes as they should we mm -hmm. have other nations in nato's doing paying what their fair share they're paying their fair shares um yeah and he also put what did he do he also put a tax on those who were taking uh businesses overseas to avoid mm -hmm. um american businesses overseas to avoid taxes in this country he had put a tax on them which brings more jobs into the economy he also so, yeah. stopped illegal immigration. Oh, that's also huge. So we're not spending money that we don't have to feed people that are not paying taxes in this country. I, I mean, he deported more people than Obama and Bush and Clinton combined. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. <sighs> just a so, thought. Just a, you know, just. Putting it out there that, you know, I mean, you know, but and he also did more for HBCUs than any yep. president in history. I'm knocking on our doors. He just made sure every year they had what they needed. You know, mm -hmm. uh, just saying. Yeah. yeah. Let's keep going. The idea that you you bounce a check and you get a $30 fee for bouncing the check? I changed that. You can't charge more than eight bucks for that. Or your credit card, you know, your late payment, $35. I mean, there's corporate greed going on out there and it's gotta be dealt with. So well, easy. Why is there corporate greed going on out there? It's because you suck at running a government. Yeah, well, the, the, the corporate greed benefit much more from Biden's um, Biden economy. economy. Yeah. So he's made the, the rich richer. This is what I see Biden's economy is doing. Biden, Biden, was it, was it called Biden? Bidenomics. Bidenomics. So they're trying to get rid of the name altogether. They don't even want to say it anymore. So he made, he's making the rich richer and it benefits the poor, but it destroys the middle class. That's what I see. Do you notice that? So if you're poor, you have no money, you're an illegal migrant and so on, poor people can benefit from that economy to a degree. But the rich, I'm not Only, sure. If okay. Actually, no. No, no, no. I have to correct you on that one. It depends, it depends, what, it depends what level. It, maybe it, maybe illegal migrants. I, maybe I should be careful with the word yeah. poor. When you say poor, exactly who you're referring to. Uh, yeah, but, I was going to say. But I, noticed, because, I, noticed, <laughs> I, I can tell you right now. Yeah. I, middle, I'm, I'm no way in middle class and I am okay. no way rich. So okay. I am not benefiting from this economy at all. Okay. Well, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to even put myself in the middle class. But I know I'm not. But, um, but I've heard a lot of people could go and get like all these welfare stuff. At least where I'm at, they get depends. I guess it, it varies with, with with states and so on. But so, yeah, we're not doing any better in Biden's economy. I can tell you that for certain. Mm -hmm. I can I can look at the grocery bills, and my wife and I we look at the grocery bills. It's like, uh uh, what is this? Yeah. So, you, stuff. 
where you used to be able and go and get a cart of groceries Mm -hmm. that would last you a month and spend a hundred dollars yeah now cost you 300 Mm. that's not good at the minimum bare minimum that's called losing money (laughs) you know oh but you save 16 cents on the hot dogs yeah yeah well by the time i spend it in gas getting there it's gonna mm-hmm. cost me more, like Samson said in his song. It spends me, cost me more to go get the hot dogs, and I spend yeah. the sixteen cents that I saved to get the hot dogs. <laughs> Thank you. 